Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. We're still discussing the substitution strategy. So far, we've talked about two methods that are used in the substitution strategy, and those are the substituting with small numbers and substitution with a function of x, in which we discussed the circum methods. So in this video, we'll start with, an, with a new method, and that is the symmetry substitution. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So in this problem, we're asked to find all functions f from r to r such that f of x square minus y square equals x minus y times f of x plus f of y. So if we take a look at our functional equation, we can realize that here we have a symmetry. Look at this expression, f of x plus f of y. If we substitute x with y and y with x, we will, we will still get f of y plus f of x, which is the same as f of x plus f of y. So this expression still, uh, still be the same. What about x minus y? Well, x minus y will become y minus x, which is the negative of x minus y. So the right-hand side, the new right-hand side, will be the negative of this right-hand side. What about the left-hand side? The left-hand side will become f of y square minus x square. So if we, if we st uh, try to substitute x with y and y with x, we will for sure get a nice-looking functional equation. Okay, so let's do this. So we'll substitute p y x. So we'll substitute x with y and y with x. And let's see what we will get. So we'll get on the left-hand side f of y square minus x square. And on the right-hand side, we'll get this will become negative. So we can say negative of x minus y times f of x plus f of y. So now, if we compare these two functional equations, we'll get a new functional equation that is simple. So we will have f of y square minus x square equals minus f of x square minus y square. So we will have f of y square minus x square equals minus f of x square minus y square. Well, doesn't that relate, doesn't this relation remind you of some function? f of some value equals minus f of uh, the negative of this value. Well, that reminds, reminds us of the odd function. So can we say that f is odd? Well, if we substitute x with 0, we will get f of y square equals minus f of minus y square. And don't worry about the y square. Uh, we can still say that our function is odd. So, yes, we can say that f, our function f, is odd. So by using this symmetry, uh, this symmetry substitution pyx, we concluded that f is odd. So what now? Can we use this information, f is odd? Of course we can. How can we use it? By simply substituting y with minus y. So to use these relations when f is odd or even, simply we substitute with minus uh, x or minus y. So let's substitute p x minus y. Okay, so now we will substitute p x and minus y. So here, the left-hand side is still the same because it's square. So we have f of x square minus y square, the left-hand side, equals x plus y times f of x plus f of, of minus y. What is f of minus y? Since f is odd, it's minus f of y. Okay. So now if we compare this functional equation with the original functional equation, we have the left-hand side is the same. So the right-hand sides must be the same. 
So we will have this new uh, functional equation, which is x plus y times f of x minus f of y equals x minus y times f of x plus f of y. So we have this new functional equation, x plus y times f of x minus f of y equals x minus y times f of x plus f of y. Now if we expand it both right hand side and left hand side, we can easily get the following relation. We will get that x times f of y equals y times f of x. This simple functional equation. Well, actually our problem is solved. Why? How can we solve this functional equation? It, uh, the way is really simple. Just isolate x and isolate y. How can we do this? The idea is very simple. Just divide both hands, both left hand side and right hand side by x times y. So that will give us the following relation. f of y over y equals f of x over x. What does that mean? If we have f of x over x equals f of y over y, well, that means that f of x over x is constant. So we can say that this equals c. Because f of x over x equals f of y over y. So if we substitute y with 1, for example, we will get that f of x over x equals f of 1, which is a constant, some constant c. So now we have the function. The function. So now we have the function is f of x equals c times x. That is the function f. So f of x equals cx. So let's substitute in the original functional equation to see what is the value of c. Well, simply, here we have c times x squared minus y squared equals x minus y times c times x plus y. So we have c and c right here. So actually, any real number c, any real constant c, works just fine. So this is our function f of x equals cx, and so we're done. So the moral of the story here is when you find a functional equation which contains some symmetry, so when you find, for example, f of x plus f of y or f of x times f of y, always think of the substitution p, y, x and then compare the new functional equation with the original functional equation, and pr I promise you, you will always get some simple and useful information. So in the next video, we'll be discussing a very dangerous idea that lots of Olympia students forget to prove when solving functional equation. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.